Welcome to the Bakersfield City Council meeting. This television broadcast is brought to you by the local cable companies, the County of Kern and the City of Bakersfield. You can watch the rebroadcast of this meeting Saturday at 7 p.m., Sunday at 10 a.m., and the following Wednesday at 7 p.m. You can download the agenda for this meeting at www.bakersfieldcity.us. Presiding over this evening's meeting, the Honorable Karen Go. Good evening. It's my pleasure to call to order the 515 meeting of the City Council, June 28th, 2017. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Mayor Go. Here. Vice Mayor Smith. I'm here. Council Member Rivera. <coughs> Council Member Gonzalez. Here. Council Member Weir. Here. Council Member Freeman. Here. Council Member Sullivan. Here. Council Member Parlier. Here. Well, welcome to all of you. We are so glad to have family and friends present with us. And also, Boy Scouts, would you just uh, wave at us? You're here to earn your merit badge, so welcome. You're here on a very special day where we get to recognize some outstanding high school students. It's also another very, very special day, and we have the pleasure of welcoming Councilmember Freeman, Bruce Freeman, this is his first meeting. He was just sworn in a little while ago, so welcome Councilmember Freeman. At this time, uh, we, were, we would ask you to stand for the invocation, which will be offered by Pastor Stephen Urey, Family Community Fellowship, and then remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance, which will be offered by Sam Baldovinos, ninth grade student at Bakersville Christian High School. Thank you, Mayor. Let's pray. Almighty God, it was this great nation's 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, who once declared, I have been driven many times upon my knees by the overwhelming conviction I had nowhere else to go. My own wisdom and that of all about me seemed insufficient for the day. And we remind ourselves this evening that you have set a standard by which we're to order our lives, to do what is just, to love what is merciful, and to walk humbly before God. We look to you tonight for the grace and enablement to live up to such a noble call. Thank you for helping us to accomplish work as those with a heart to fulfill all of the responsibilities of our election by this community to the best of our abilities. Tonight we pray as well for our wonderful first in class students who will be recognized this evening. We thank you for their great accomplishment and we also look forward to the influence and contribution of their lives in the future. In our community, we are grateful for leaders concerned enough to be informed, wise enough to choose to be people of ability and skill, and loving enough to care deeply about the least of us, the powerless, the innocent, and the marginalized. Thank you for our honorable mayor and the city council members. Thank you for the team working with our city manager, for our police chief and officers, the fire chief, and all who serve along with him. Bless now the work of their hands, their minds, and their hearts for the task ahead. We understand that the need of our city and our citizenry is great. And so we follow the lead of President Lincoln in asking for wisdom and provision beyond our own capabilities and connections. And with respect for others whose faith differs from mine, I humbly offer this prayer in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Sam Baldivinos. Salute pledge. <clears throat> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much, Sam, and uh, also to uh, your family for being here. Thank you so much, and Pastor Yuri, thank you also. God bless you. Here are a few guidelines to help our meeting run smoothly. We request that you turn off your phones, and in keeping with council policy, council members aren't allowed to send or receive electronic communication during the meeting. We'd ask you to be courteous in the use of cameras and videos. Applause is allowed during the presentation portion of the meeting, but isn't allowed at other times of the meeting. And for safety reasons and as a courtesy to others, no signs are allowed in the council chamber. Thank you so much for your cooperation.
Madam Clerk, would you please read the first item? Under presentations, we have a proclamation to Diane Hoover, Recreation and Parks Director, declaring July 2017 Recreation and Parks Month in Bakersfield. Well, what an honor it is to have here before me the director of the accredited agency, the first city department to become an accredited agency with the National Recreation and Parks Association. I've had the privilege of enjoying uh, what we've been able to do through the city with recreation and parks, and thank you, Ms. Hoover, so much for your leadership, and it is my honor today to issue this proclamation. Whereas parks and recreation programs are an essential part of communities across America, including the city of Bakersfield, and whereas our parks and recreation are a fundamental component in establishing and maintaining our community's quality of life by offering citizens the opportunity for improved health, and recreational activities while contributing to the economic and environmental well-being of the community, increasing property values, expanding the local tax base, growing tourism, while attracting and retaining businesses and reducing crime. And whereas recreation is invaluable to residents, providing positive alternatives for children and youth, especially during non-school hours, promotes the arts, increases social connections, aids in therapy, and promotes lifelong learning. Now, therefore, I, Karen Go, Mayor of the City of Bakersfield, do hereby proclaim July 2017 as Recreation and Parks Month in our city and urge all residents to enjoy and recognize the social, physical, mental, economic, environmental, and community benefits derived from our city's parks, streetscapes, programs and partnerships and it's signed Karen Go, Mayor of the City of Bakersfield. It's my honor, Ms. Hoover, Thank to you. proclaim this. Thank you. And now, oh, go ahead. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Go, and thank you, City Council, for supporting parks and recreation throughout the year in many different programs and services that is provided. There are 59 parks in the city of Bakersfield, and this calendar provides 31 and more ideas to celebrate Parks and Recreation Month throughout the, the whole month of July and throughout the year. 73% of adults believe parks are essential to health care. Play is vital to mental and physical health, and parks provide these places for social interaction and community involvement. So just to highlight a few of the things on there, uh, the, on uh, Sunday, the Beale Park will have the last concert of the season, and Mayor Go and Council Member Sullivan usually attend, and it's been really hot lately, but they are still out there, and the band plays on. And so this one uh, particular concert is a patriotic concert celebrating our nation's birthday. And on the 4th of July, we'll hear more about that in just a few minutes, but come out to the Park at Riverwalk and enjoy a professional fireworks show, very safe and sane fireworks show, and support the fire department in that event as well. So, and then uh, also throughout the, the month, all of our parks are open every day. Our pools are open every day, and the spray parks, nine of them throughout the city. The pools provide safe places to swim away from the river and the lakes that are uh, taking so many people this year. So enjoy. You can go to www.bakersfieldparks.us and download this calendar for some fun ideas all summer long. Thank you. And thank I'm you very much. I'm getting my play on. Thank you? you. Get all your right. play on. There we go. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you, Ms. Hoover. Next item, please. Presentation of Certificates of Appreciation to Sponsors of the July 4th Celebration, PG&E, Adventist Health, Rabobank, uh, California Water Company, and E&B Natural Resources. 
Well, it is a joy, as Ms. Hoover was saying, to be able to celebrate the 4th of July, and we have some wonderful opportunities in our community. AEG and the City of Bakersfield have been raising money each year to fund this wonderful celebration, and today we have the privilege of having the general manager from AEG, Steve Eckerson, and he's going to share a little bit more about this. So thank you for all of your efforts, and why don't you go ahead and share, and then I'll get to present. Thank you, Mayor, City Council, City Manager Alan Tandy. I am here to promote this great event. Uh, this will be my first 4th of July in Bakersfield, uh, so I am really looking forward to it. Uh, once again, AEG and the City of Bakersfield have teamed up to produce, produce this event. Uh, it's at the park, as Diane mentioned. Uh, this each year that, the, uh, that we've had this, it's attracted over 15,000 people. Uh, just a terrific event. Uh, many residents in the neighborhood uh, also take part in it. This year, with the help of Councilmember Sullivan, we've got some great ideas to even add some more patriotic flair to this event, and we're very excited about it. I'm not going to let in on the secret Councilmember, if you don't mind, but uh, we'll encourage everyone to come out, and uh, absolutely, it's going to be a great event. Uh, we have this event is, wouldn't be possible without the generosity of, of several companies who are here. And, and Mayor, I'm going to turn it back over to you and let you take over. Thank you very much. Appreciate it very, very much. And this would not be made possible. So this, did you say free? Free, right? It's free. But it's only free because we have generous sponsors. And I am delighted right now to be able to recognize our generous sponsors, and first, we will have our friend from PG&E. Come on up. It's Kristen Dowd, Certificate of Appreciation presented to PG&E in recognition of the community spirit demonstrated in sponsoring the Independence Day fireworks display at the park at Riverwalk, making the annual celebration on July 4th possible in our city. So thank you so much, PG&E. We always appreciate what you do. You're out and about in the community, and we really appreciate it. Thank you, thank you very much. Stay up there. Maybe we can take a brief picture. And now we have Adventist Health, and our CEO, president, top everything, uh, just recently got promoted, but has been a leader there for so long, uh, presented again to Adventist Health in recognition of the community spirit demonstrated in supporting, sponsoring the Independence Day fireworks display at the park at Riverwalk, making this annual celebration possible in our city. So thank you so much, Adventist Health. Uh, let's see, have we figured out our name yet? San Joaquin, San Joaquin Community Hospital, soon to be known as Adventist Adventist Health, but Adventist Health, Bakersfield, 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 very, very important. Thank you so much for all that you do in our community in uh, promoting health, in having health for the entire person, and then for sponsoring this. Thank you very much. How many of you like to drink water or need to drink water? Cal Water, come on up. Mike Maris. And also in appreciation and recognition of this community spirit demonstrated in sponsoring the Independence Day fireworks display at the park at Riverwalk, making this annual celebration possible. It's my honor to be able to present this to you. Thank you, Cal Water, for all that you do. And I see you out and about in our community a lot now. So thank you very much. And next, ENB Natural Resources. So you're receiving the same commendation and appreciation. Thank you so much, Amy. We really appreciate it. And uh, like these others, second past two years, thank you again for sponsoring. And I uh, really appreciate seeing you out there. I know that uh, I get to run into ENB in so many different community events. Thank you for uh, making this celebration possible. And <laughs> So the businesses I've recognized thus far 
have all been two-year sponsors at least of this community fireworks. And this year, we get to recognize a brand new sponsor coming on board, Robobank with Colleen Bauer. So some of you may know her as the fairy godmother. She does all kinds of magical things for our community. So Robobank, Colleen, thank you so much for all that you're doing in supporting our community. How many of you go to Robobank? Ever been to Robobank for anything? I think all of us have. So thank you very, very much. And we just appreciate your sponsorship. And all of you, we look forward to seeing you out there on the 4th. So let's take a picture together. And yeah. where should we do it? He's the boss. Oh. This way? Let's go right over here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Sam, part of the AEG team that keeps it all together. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Presentation of Certificates of Appreciation honoring the Kern High School District's 2017 first in class students in the greater Bakersfield area. What an amazing day this is. So students here, how do you get a 4.5? 90% of you all have a 4.5 GPA. And somebody told me it would be higher, except they capped us at 4.5. You have chosen to invest in the very, very best thing, your education. We're so happy to have you here. And it's going to be my honor now to come around here and let's see, our city clerk and council member Sullivan, I forgot to do what I was going to do, but I'm going to have you do it from here. This is possible. Your recognition is possible because of the efforts of council member Jackie Sullivan. She's the one who inspired all of this and got us going. So I'm going to ask you now to just to say a few words. Thank you. <clears throat> Well, it was a pleasure meeting many of you uh, in, the, uh, uh, in the room before, but but it's, you're, you're beautiful. I'm always just so delighted and so amazed at the good looking group that is the best, you're the best of the best. So uh, not just the students, but it's a family, a family effort. And uh, so congratulate the moms and dads. I know you're proud of your young people. We appreciate your hard work for these, for these young people. So there's the best is yet to come. And, and what a wonderful contribution you're going to be making to our communities and our country. So thank you. And it would start a long time ago. In fact, we're going to find out exactly what year, just as it continues on. So welcome, and thank you for your hard work. Thank you, council member. OK, um, we're going to come up there, or where would you like us to do it? Right here in the front. Mm -hmm. Right here, so they can come along here. All right. So Madam Clerk, would you please uh, read the names of these outstanding, outstanding. We don't even have superlatives for this because they're so outstanding. Go ahead. From Bakersfield High School, Maya Arvizu. Adam Hazelton. You know, we have a lot of students here, and we are going to give them the biggest cheer at the end. So we'll ask you right now just to hold your applause. We have a lot of students, but we're going to let you give them just the biggest round of applause at the very end. So next one, please. Adam Hazelton. Congratulations. Emily Hazelton. Isabel Herndon. Isabel, congratulations. From Centennial High School, Vivian Doe. Grant Fiddler. Haley Euler. Autumn Warren. From Foothill High School, Stephanie Valdivinos Renteria. 
from Frontier High School, Bradley Squires. From Golden Valley, Hermandeep Baines. From Highland, Michelle Tran. Daniel Tweedy. From Independence High School, Alexis Barcenas. Angel Huizar. From Liberty High School, Kaylee Blair. Nathaniel Graham. Emma Reynolds. Leighton Rohrbach. Jason Schatz. From North High School, Cassandra Rader. From Ridgeview High School, Haraj Desi. Verpal Gill. Ashpreet Sandu. Ashleen Sodi. From South High School, Alma Flores Baza. From Stockdale, Sahil Alim. Michael Chang. Sabrina Chow. Nancy Din. Raguvir Kunani. Clayton Nailsnick. Jennifer Pusavat. Abhishek Srinivas. Shika Srinivas. Sharame Tudau. Vedant Vaidya. Jason Yang. From West High School, Grace Martinez. Liberty High School, Noli Topete. From Ridgeview High School, Baljot Sekone. From North High School, Stephen Garcia. From Liberty High School, Anu Alua Ayani. From Golden Valley, Eric Ponce. From Ridgeview, Bellin Bravo. Well, look at that. Let's give her a round of applause. And how about if we get like a giant photo? So would you all, students, would you all stand where you are, turn your certificates towards the front. With 4.5s, I think you can figure that one out. They probably should be the right way up, you know, with a label. And then when she's standing somewhere. Somebody could do like a giant selfie. That would be pretty cool, but I don't think it's quite All right, now. You can't see the camera. The camera can't see you, so. So make sure you adjust yourself and you can see Chris. You need to go up on that. All right, so being a politician, you just keep smiling till the camera goes down because you don't want to be caught doing it. <laughs> All right, here you go. Thank you. 
the words of Benjamin Franklin, if a man empties his purse into his head, no man can take it away from him. An investment in knowledge always pays the best interests. So you all have done so well, invested wisely, and we're just so looking forward to your futures. It was my joy during the reception to speak with you and amazing, your, your journeys up to this point and then your aspirations. But I think uh, there are, you didn't get here quite on your own, did you? And I think it's time at this point, if you are a parent or guardian of any of these young people, would you all please stand and let's give them a big round of applause. Parents and guardians. Thank you. Grandparents, do we have grandparents here? Okay, students, will you all turn around and face that and give your friends and family, stand up, turn around, face them, and I want you to clap and say thank you. Okay, very good. Thank you, you may be seated. And again, uh, we just offer our congratulations, our very, very best wishes as you move on. Every one of you, you're all going to college and to some fantastic universities. There was a, a list in our, uh, the room where we had the reception of the universities and colleges that accepted you. And it was pretty impressive. You know, you're going to Duke, but you all said to choose from da 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 da, Harvard, Stanford. You know, it was all, all uh, very impressive. And so congratulations and uh, job well done. And we look forward to your coming back to Bakersfield after you have your education and investing in our community, giving back, and we want all of your brains to come back here and do good for our community. So thank you very, very much. At this point, we're going to take a brief recess so that you all can exit and then we'll continue with our meeting. So we'll just uh, have a little five minute recess while everybody exits. Congratulations. Council to reconvene. Council to reconvene. At this time, we'll receive public statements. All statements are given a three minute time limit, 15 minutes per topic. If you have written comments that are longer than your verbal statement, please give those to the clerk and she'll give copies to the council. Please avoid any behavior that disrupts the meeting. We're very interested and concerned with your issues. Due to the public notice requirement of the Brown Act, the council can't take action when an item isn't on the agenda. The council can, however, refer your matter to committee or request that staff contact you. Madam Clerk, please call the per first public speaker. Mayor, we have two public speakers this evening, both speaking on separate subjects. The first speaker is Nathan Nemnick regarding questions for council. Good evening. My name is Nathan Nemnick, and uh, for the benefit of our new council member uh, who hasn't seen me before, I have a plan that will essentially create an alternate, force, an alternate source of revenue for the city, which in time would eliminate the need to collect local taxes, create thousands of new jobs, <clears throat> excuse me, cut the crime rate, and provide Bakersfield with a better and lower cost of health care. I have presented this to the, the rest of the council already and asked for their help and basically have met with nothing but silence. I have some questions regarding uh, why. Uh, a while back, the city gave uh, the Padre Hotel an estimated $2 million. And the reason they gave for giving this money was to create jobs. Um, the long-term uh, jobs that they created were around 40. The money that was spent had no effect on lowering our taxes at all. My plan would not only lower taxes, 
but create jobs and help the city. What I request is actually for the media, if they're watching tonight, or if there's anybody in here, why are you not willing to speak to me? Nothing? Nobody? Can't answer? Okay, that's it. Mr. Nemnick, uh, thank you for sharing. Uh, this isn't the appropriate forum, forum where we can respond to you. I believe I left you a phone message. No, you didn't. Uh, but uh, I'll follow up with you. You're All welcome right. to get in touch with me and uh, follow up together. I look forward to your phone thank message. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker, please. Mona Sidhu regarding marginalized communities. Good evening. Welcome. Please introduce yourself. My name is Mona Sidhu. The last name is spelled S-I-D-H-U. Um, I'm here to speak about two different, different sets of marginalized communities, and I was glad to hear in the prayer before this meeting that marginalized folks were mentioned because I think it is important to keep our eye on those who are not generally the focus. The first issue I brought before the, the city council before, and I have uh, written statements here for the city, whoops, sorry, the city manager, the mayor, and council members. I'll leave them right here, Madam Clerk. You bring them up to your shirt. As I've mentioned before, there was a highly publicized hate crime back in the fall, which was an Islamophobic crime, but the, uh, ac the intended victim was a Muslim, but the actual victim was a Sikh. So there were two minority communities that were impacted. The prosecution of that crime was at best perfunctory, and I believe it was inadequate. I have spent the last several months trying to deal with the Human Relations Commission which, with the county, but they never seem to have a quorum to meet on any kind of regular basis. Uh, the city's Safe Neighborhoods Committee had a meeting last October and then a several month lag, and I believe they're starting to meet up again. Um, but what I've done now is I've put my concerns in written form and presented them both to each board, board of supervisor member as well as to you now. And I'm asking that any elected official who feels that that prosecution was inadequate, that the fact that the defendant did not even have to apologize, let alone do any community service or any anger management, if you think that that was appropriate, then I think it's fair to say that while we have made great strides for very many minority communities, we are still in some ways marginalized. If an attack that is targeting two separate communities was met with such little concern. The second issue I wanted to raise is, um, I believe there's a resolution under consideration by this body to uh, talk about the proposed cuts of federal funding for um, uh, HUD funding that would go to help the homeless and the hungry. Um, I understand that there's been some controversy about the wording of that and that there's talk about not opposing the cuts but just supporting the funding. I just want to say we can't make everybody happy. I agree we shouldn't unnecessarily provoke people and create controversy, but in this case the facts seem pretty clear. The proposed budget cuts that uh, the federal budget uh, for HUD would create great harm to our cities, homeless and hungry. And it should be okay to say that we are against those cuts. It's a fact that those cuts will harm people and it should be okay to say that's wrong. Simply saying we support the funding doesn't have the same impact. It expresses an opinion, but it doesn't show our commitment or call for action. I want my city to call for action and I think that it, is, it should not be controversial to say, let's feed the hungry, let's house the homeless, let's not cut their funding, and that we are opposed to those cuts. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sidhu. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Consent calendar items 8A through 8AB for approval. Vice Mayor. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, does any council member wish to recuse themselves from any of the items on the consent calendar for a conflict of interest? Council Member Freeman. Uh, Mayor Go, 
I haven't had a chance to come up to speed and read all of the various things on the consent calendar for for that reason uh, just tonight my first meeting I'd like to recuse myself from uh, voting on those thank you does any council member wish to remove any items for separate consideration seeing none I will make a motion to approve consent calendar items a through a B you have a motion please cast your votes Uh, go ahead and cast your votes again. Something happened. Go ahead and should we just do an oral? Oh, it's up there. Okay. Motion is approved. Thank you. Next item, please. hearings go ahead and read that please a public hearing to consider a resolution ordering the summary vacation of a portion of a waiver of direct direct access along Stockdale Highway and street right-of-way at the Stockdale Highway driveway entrance at 12800 Stockdale Highway staff recommends the hearing be opened and closed and no action be taken Thank you. Is there anyone here to speak on this item? Seeing none, we're going to open and close this item because the incorrect address was posted and we'll bring back this item at a future meeting. So at this time, I'll open the public hearing and I'll close the public hearing. No action is needed. Madam Clerk, next item, please. Under deferred business, fiscal year 2017-2018 budget. Mr. Hewatt, thank Good you e for being here. Good evening, Mayor, Council Members, Chris Hewatt, City Manager's Office. Uh, over the past several meetings, we have been presenting you with budgetary information for fiscal year 17-18, which begins July 1. Before you this evening are the two documents related to adopting the budget for next fiscal year. The first item is a resolution approving the budget at approximately $494.1 million. That's made up of a $420.3 million operating budget and a $73.8 million capital improvement budget. Outlined in the administrative report are four minor adjustments staff is proposing to the budget that was proposed to you uh, back in May. If there's any questions on those proposed adjustments, I'd be happy to answer them. Secondarily, on your agenda this evening is a resolution adopting the appropriations limit for next fiscal year. This is a state requirement that the city adopt an appropriations limit and that certain proceeds of taxes cannot exceed that limit. And as stated in your administrative report, the appropriations limit is calculated to be about $388.6 million. The appropriations that are subject to that limit total approximately $152.2 million, so we're well under that cap. So with that, I'd be happy to answer questions, and again, staff is recommending approval of both of these items this evening. Thank you. Council Member Freeman. Uh, yes, I just want to state for the record, I have watched the tapes of the public hearing on the budget and the discussions and I've actually read the budget a couple of times. So uh, <laughs> I probably have to read it about 10 more times to understand everything that it's in it, but I will be voting on the budget tonight. Thank you. Do we have a motion, Vice Mayor? I will move to adopt the fiscal year 2017-18 operating capital budget, which with adjustments as outlined. You have a motion, please cast your votes. Motion is unanimously approved. Thank you. Next item, please. Council and Mayor Statements. 
Well, what a wonderful evening it is. We get to welcome our new colleagues. So I'm opening it up at this time for council statements. Council Member Vice Mayor Smith. Thank you, Mary. Yes, I'm excited to have somebody sitting next to me again. Uh, we, we operated, but, but it, we didn't have a full team, and so we appreciate having a full team and, and look forward to working with Council Member Freeman. Uh, I did just have one other item I wanted to make comment on. We, we just adopted the budget, and as we went through the process, uh, we talked about you know holding and, and cutting where we had to, and I would like staff to prepare something that where we think we're going to be, we, we know a lot of costs are rising over the next five years and and we don't really see our income rising over the next five years and and just kind of a big picture look at where we think we're going to be the next five years if we could do that i would appreciate it thank you council member gonzalez thank you mayor go i just want to join uh, my colleagues in welcoming uh, mr freeman to the uh, dais here uh, i was really excited to have uh, met with mr freeman a few weeks ago over coffee and um, here's some of his ideas. I'm really looking forward to working with you, Bruce, um, particularly on downtown uh, items. And so I was really excited to hear your, your, you share the council's vision and seeing a more vibrant downtown for our city. And so I'm looking forward to partnering with you over the next four years. Welcome. I also want to thank uh, Vice Mayor Smith for picking up the slack in Ward 5 over the past few months. Thank you for that. Council Member Sullivan. Thank you, Mayor. Welcome, Bruce. I, too, appreciate having that empty seat filled and realize it's been a long time since we've seen all the lights on. We're set up to have, we're, we have seven parts of town, set up to have seven decision makers, and so you are very welcomed. You've been looked forward to having um, installed, so it's great to see our board full fill, and we have it's good things to do and it's going to be another good council thank you thank you seeing none uh, others i just want to thank staff for all the work that you've put into the budget uh, it's never easy it takes all of you out there so thank you for your efforts and council member bruce freeman welcome we are so happy to have you here to have a proven business leader. So we are looking forward to great days ahead, working together as a team. To all of you out there, let's celebrate our uh, nation's birthday. Come on out to Riverwalk for a free concert for safe and uh, glorious fireworks. So seeing no other business, uh, we are adjourned at 6.05. Thank you.
3.30 p.m. meeting of the Bakersfield City Council is now in session. Good afternoon. It's my pleasure to call the 3.30 meeting of the City Council to order the meeting of June 28, 2017. Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll? Mayor Go Here. Vice Mayor Smith. I am here. Council Member Rivera. Council Member Gonzalez. Here. Council Member Weir. Council Member Sullivan. Here. Council Member Parlier. Here. Thank you. What a special day it is. And I think we're here to join together in celebration for something that's just to come. Mayor Hall, thank you so much for joining us today. It's always our honor to have you with us. And uh, again, just thank you for your years of service. I uh, attempt to emulate you and uh, listen to your advice. So thank you very much for being here. And the rest of you, thank you for being here to celebrate with us. To comply with the Brown Act, we'll receive public statements now. Please limit your comments to the installation and closed session items only. All statements are given a three-minute time limit, 15 minutes per subject. Are there any public statements? Madam Clerk, next item, please. Under the installation, we have a resolution accepting the city clerk's certification and declaring the results of the special municipal election for the election of council member for Ward 5, held in the city of Bakersfield on June 6, 2017. Vice Mayor Smith, may I have a motion, please? I would move to accept the resolution. And Madam Clerk, would you please call the roll for the vote? Vice Mayor Smith. Yes. Council Member Gonzalez. Yes. Council Member Sullivan. Yes. Council Member Parlier. Yes. Motion is unanimously approved. It's my honor to invite Council Member elect Bruce Freeman to join our assistant city clerk right here in the front for the administration of the oath of office. Okay, please raise your right hand. After I complete your oath, please indicate your agreement by saying yes or I do, okay? Do you, Bruce Freeman, solemnly swear or affirm that you will support and defend the Constitution of the United States of America and the Constitution of the State of California against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that you will bear true faith and allegiance to the Constitution of the United States uh, of America and the Constitution of the State of California, that you take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that you will well and faithfully discharge the duties upon which you are to enter. Okay, thank you. Hang on. I guess this makes it official. <laughs> Congratulations. And now, Council Member Freeman, would you please join us up here at your seat? It's all reserved for you. We've been waiting for that to be filled, and we are so glad to have you here today. And it's going to be your opportunity as soon as you get settled to make some comments. But again, thank you all, supporters, for being here. For Council Member, welcome. Mm -hmm. There you go, you found your place, good job. That is the first requirement, see whether you can find your place. And now, do you know where your little um, light is to turn on your microphone? Yes. Good job, okay, there we go. And 
It's on. You are welcome now to address the audience. So welcome. Please go ahead. Okay. Well, it's great to be here. It uh, seems like it took a lot more than three months uh, of a campaign, <laughs> but uh, I guess uh, when you're having fun, they say. Anyway, there's all sorts of thanks to go around of all the people who supported me and helped me get here. So thank you all. Um, I'm really looking forward to this. I spent 200 years on the other side of uh, this days down there, uh, you know, presenting things to the council. So this is a lot better feeling being up here. <laughs> you know, you feel pretty powerless down here. You feel like, uh huh, up here. So I've got to say now. But uh, realistically, I, I look forward to this. Our city, we've got a great city. Uh, like all California cities, we have more than enough challenges. Uh, it, it we'll, we've got a little bit of recession going here, but um, I think everybody in this city knows it and uh, is going to be pulling together to get through this thing and, and come out even better. So, you know, I kind of, I, I, not kind of, I sort of ran on the phrase, I'm not a politician, I'm a businessman, and, and uh, uh, that's true, so I'll probably, you know, do some faux pas, and I'll have to learn Robert Rules of Orders a little better, uh, but I probably will always look at things from the pragmatist uh, business standpoint, but uh, I think that's good. We have a balanced council, lots of different perspectives up here, so I, I'm just one of seven, and I, and I hope I can make a contribution, so thank you, and it's great to be here. Council member, would you like to recognize somebody very special in your life in the audience? Oh, yes, I've been, I've been chastised for not having done this in the past, but uh, my wife Monica's sitting back there in the back, came to uh, uh, my, my supporter. Uh, 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 I know she has to be uh, one of the few wives who walked precincts for six weeks and 100 degrees for just about three hours a day with me. and managed to convert more votes than I did, so <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm blessed to have her as a wife and, uh, and have her support, so nice to have you, honey. <laughs> Welcome. It's a team. Welcome aboard. Uh, Council members, you'll have an opportunity to make comments and welcome Councilmember Freeman at our 515 meeting. And so at this point, uh, we're going to move on actually to the next item. Madam Clerk, please. Under closed session, we have conference with legal counsel, potential, potential litigation, one matter. Move to adjourn the closed session. We are adjourned. Thank you again for being here, and maybe we'll just take a few minutes so that you can come and greet uh, Council Member Freeman before we move into the back. Council, to reconvene, we're reconvening from our 3.30 meeting. City Attorney. Thank you, Mayor. We only had one item on closed session. That was item 5A, and there is no reportable action. Thank you. Thank you. And with that, we are adjourned.